Okay, so this is a 315 watt ceramic metal halide. Um, these have become really popular in the last few years, um, just about at the time that LED was getting out in popularity, this technology was introduced. Uh, the ceramic is, in the name, is referencing the ceramic base, um, and it's a pretty funky looking little metal halide um, set up inside of there and really easy to install I say that there it goes nice satisfying fit when it does go in so um, these lamps do kind of make a little bit of a metal halide hum when you fire them up they are not known for their efficiency, but the quality of light that comes out of them is excellent for vegging, uh, plants, or leafy green growth on anything. Um, and they take about a minute and a half to warm up. And I apologize for the noise, but I wanted to fire it up so you could see the color of the light. And this is a single-ended bulb, just like the old single-ended HPSs. We've got a double-ended. Uh, CMH that we're going to look at and also a fixture that just holds two of the single-ended lamps in it. Uh, this fixture, super small, compact. Um, I really like it. We can get you, or I can get you these for about 200 bucks. Some people retail them for up to 400 bucks. Uh, that's going to come with a warranty. You can find them that cheap, but it's hard to service those lamps if you ever have any issue. A lot of times the lamps might show up with a bad bulb. There's that noise and that hum. That's kind of nerve-wracking a little bit. But you can see it's really blue to start out. This is a 3000 Kelvin lamp, which they ship with standard. Uh, so it's going to be more flower-oriented if you're growing hemp or cannabis. And you can see it's starting to uh, get into its color. And it's up to full power. So it'll take a little while longer to warm up and get to its full color. But uh, I really like the Spectrum. As much as I'm an advocate of LED, the ceramic metal halide, um, quality of vegetative growth, the UV, the far red, the other stuff that you get, the broad spectrum outside of the normal PAR range is really awesome. Um, I'm going to do another video with a setup that I really like that has uh, one of these and then two 200 watt bars that I think for a home grow, like a 5x5 five five tent, it's about 750 watts total and we'll slay it. Um, but that's it, super compact. These things used to be really expensive. There's still some vendors that get a lot of money for them. There's other products that have really big elaborate hoods trying to focus or throw this light more widely. You're never gonna find really high par levels. I'll put the par map up at the end of this video. But again, it's the quality of light and uh, really high color rendering index, CRI, really a pleasure to work under. So um, if you have any questions about them, hit me up and uh, check out the other videos. So we're gonna start small and work all the way up to 1000 watt double enders and into LED. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out these videos. If you want to learn more about horticulture or just plants in general, uh, slap like and subscribe. And uh, if you need help finding lights for your project, you can find out how to get a hold of me in the description below. All right, thanks for watching.